We're inside the RCA Dome, downtown Indianapolis, for what amounts to a bowl elimination game between the three and five Nittany Lions of Penn State and the three and four Hoosiers of Indiana. Well, an all neutral site meeting in the Big Ten in seven years. And uh, Penn State has won the toss and deferred. David Kimball's kick is handled by Darren Graham seven yards deep and so Indiana averaging 450 total yards per game. Aaron Graham gets it started a wide out. He went in motion and Randall L running the option cuts it upfield for a gain of about defensive line for Penn State. They've been fairly solid maybe not as spectacular as past Lion units. Perfecus is the veteran there senior out of Allison Park Pennsylvania. Out of the eye option the other way this time with the pitch to Williams. He was all known for the linebackers Sturdivant, Finney, and Gatton this year. Yes, and these linebackers are particularly inexperienced as starters, and they're going to get their first taste of having to play what we call assignment football, which is what option football forces. Their discipline will have a lot to do with how well they play on defense. Boyd, the man watching the secondary, second in the Big Ten in tackles and passes broken up. And when he's done, he'll reset them all. Option right, three plays, three options, the late pitch, LeBron Williams with a first down. The yardage will come around to either corner. Motion by Jerry Dorsey, their fourth consecutive option. A little bit earlier pitch this time, but Williams breaks one tackle and then goes down to the line. On second and one, and not everybody got that change. As he... Randall L with another pitch to Williams, good block out in front by Morgan is split in the line. And ready to go to the air for the first time off play action. Randall L hit as he delivers into double coverage and it is intercepted. Yako Yisriel, redshirt freshman, comes down with it at the seven yard line. And the Lions victory over Illinois. The only offset high with to give to the tailback Eric McCune. He picks his way through about three to the ten who excelled last week and in this meeting last year he had all career highs 13 out of 15 196 yards against Indiana one memorable touchdown run McCoo is the leading rusher 404 yards on the year veteran fullback in Saramelli Drummond Watson Stewart the receivers and he loves to throw to the tight end he did last year against Indiana at least Stewart and John Gilmore In the two tight end set, Drummond is in motion. And Justin Smith coming up on a blitz as Casey bounces up Eric Barnett and continues on around the left corner. Penn State, McKenzie, Felder, Rickenbach, Hardings, and Bell. Casey, huh? and a keeper. And he's hit at the 12. Above the RCA Dome where Indiana goes to work for the second possession. And a quick inside handoff for big yardage to Dwayne Hogan, the third. 37 of the Lions. Back to the option game. And Randall L keeping with room. Boyd cuts him off. Fifth <laughs> interception of the year. Second and seven. The late pitch. William has run around the corner and is inside the fifth. The five has a touchdown. Casey. Steps up, avoids the blitz, and Devin Schaefer throws a strike on the out for about nine. Look at all still happening, just not on the time pick. Spring toss, and he goes to the tight end. Tony last in converting third down. It's McCoo picking his way for the first, and almost winning. That is the strength of the unit, statistically. Casey played fake to McCoo over the middle. The second tight end, John Gilbert, back in on third and two. McCoo with a big hole. Eric McCoo inside the 25 yard line. Omar Easy is in the backfield with Casey. And he has the screen pass set up. Omar Easy already here in the first quarter. On third and two, Johnson finds the hole for the first down of the Williams. Johnson untouched up the middle until he gets to the two, and he powers in for the touchdown. Second of the year, 12-yard nice mixture of all the various running threats. 
culminating in the score by Larry Johnson. Through to a wide open hole. It's called a counter. Watch the motion start on the right side. The defense goes that way. You pull the two back from backside, and he doesn't get touched until he's on the goal line. Great execution. on the scoreboard. And back to work. Motion from Darren Graham. Second and four. Option right. Randall tackled, but still manages to get the last week. It's first one over, over rank P. And we start the second quarter with the offense in the league. They've allowed the fewest sacks in the league. So they're all doing something right. Randall will keep it and turn it up to midfield. We have a third and two. And Randall L ready to throw on third and two, but looks up there's plenty of room and he picks up the first in the program. Trying to back it up here. Late pitch, and they have Williams twice. Completion on the goal of LeBron Lee. Big to Williams, rolling pocket. And Jeremy Johnson will keep out of the gun. Randall all day. Needs 11 yards for the first down. And he gets it. Is in it for the fifth time this year. He pulls out Williams. Look at that hole. Inside. Well, the knee is what that race is for. Jones. To Johnson. Guided out of the knee. There's Ron Williams. Gets them the pocket on first and goal from the five. And they give to Hogan, who waltzes in for the touchdown. Rochester, New York. Motion from Eddie Drummond on second and play. And Larry Johnson hunts for a hole. No, Mike, no, you Bill. That's a total turnaround by you. Casey has to throw it away. Dumped it. Almost happened again. Bob Scott got him to get it back. That was in. Now backing off. Randall L. On second and three. Randall L. Surrounded and they get it. Tika's pick. Get himself all set for his last year. Deep option pitch. Williams. Defended. Okay, shot at it. He, he becomes the uh, top punter on the team as well. 39 yards. Now Casey back to work and throws a strike. <laughs> and Casey with time fires off the hands of Tony Johnson. He led the conference in pass efficiency last year. He does not even make the rankings this year. That one's on the money to Stewart. He's got a first down off where they were a year ago. A two. Big third and six here. Casey, well protected. Stewart makes the catch for the flag. is down. Sharon Wallace, it's all he can do. Holding on the defense. That penalty is Number 89, Tony Stewart. This is just a little diagonal. Yeah, and Devin Schaefer tries to get a hold of the shirt, and Tony rips it. Stewart from the 18. And Larry Johnson. Hit behind the line of scrimmage and goes back inside the 10. Push the two back in the tailback. Takes it. Still going all the way to a touchdown. What a determined run by Matu. What's it going to take? Yeah, it really doesn't matter who the coach is. <laughs> He cannot come out there and tackle. People were in position. Right there. God, they have oh, it yeah. wrapped up. Keep the legs going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> little time away, Indiana's moved it. We get more points on the board. Here's Blue with a strained MCL. He's left knee. Hit for no game. And Indiana content to take their time, and the fans wanted to see him take a shot. Didn't happen. Cam Cameron will head to the locker room with a 14-14 tie with Penn State. A team that Indiana has never beaten, but they're hanging with them every step of the way so far. And we 14. Penn State 3-5 coming in.
Indiana three and four coming in, and Indiana did pretty much what it wanted on the ground, where they rushed for 172 yards, 97 of those by LeBron Williams, including a 25 in minutes. We'd be we'd be in the third inning of a World Series game. By now. <laughs> Onside kick by Andy Payne is recovered by Indiana. Oh, what a start to the second half. Henry Frazier he didn't stay out long. Back to work. Turns back away from the rest of the offense and throws the play action pass off the option. Good idea. And on a reverse here to Darren Graham. Never had control. And it's recovered by Penn State at the 45. After him, they were staying very disciplined. He's looking at that Penn State player and not the ball. Never looks it in. But I think he's had a chance to do more hands-on coaching this year. Sarah Melody bounces off Justin Smith. The top Either top. finish with its worst record ever under Paterno or by winning the Rose Bowl. Both are possibilities. Casey. 8 out of 11, 81 yards for Rashad. McCoo. Oh, that's not doing it. Untouched until he gets to the 25. Left guard, watch the pull. Coming out, he's going to hunt somebody up. Gus Felder, the big man getting around the end, open it up. And again, when you don't get your one one yard line to snap on second and six. Still Larry Johnson. Third and three, Casey on the quarterback draw, first down. And takes it left behind Sarah Miller, bounces off Justin's fifth for this game. Stewart in motion. And it's McHugh up the middle to the two. McHugh looks for room around the right side and doesn't get in and he lost it. He popped it up. Wallace with the Indiana return. Wipe it up. First and 15. And the left three of six just 18 yards through the air. Went for the pitch man and wrapped up before he could get it to his on him. Nobody's going to block him. That's the option. Stays on him, stays on him. Good job of staying square and forcing the issue. He's a champion. Bit of an athlete. Another flag. Randall L. And knee and all. Hard to tell, isn't it? <laughs> 33. Randall L. looking to throw. Steps up wide. Gallus and he stumbles but keeps the oh, offer. And the wall again chased, throws complete. Henry Frazier will have the to wrap up that triple header. And the wall picks up the fumble uh, without a doubt. Look at what he does, maybe with a lesser supporting cast. Throwing off balance for another first down. Davis uh, has yet to be decided this upcoming season. They pitch Williams. 15-5, and then loses it at the goal line. Did he get it back and score a touchdown on his recovery? He's going to take some unpiling. Oh, you had some fun in that pile down there. Yeah, get after it in there. Go on. <laughs> touchdown. Great job of blocking right there. We've been talking about responsibility football. Penn State had a man there, but he was blocked on the 16 carries. It's tip to Johnson. On a burst by Larry Johnson, who fumbles out of bounds. Draw it up to, draw it up to keep the thing, Michael. Good job taking it to the right. Bad tackle, good stiff arm, another bad tackle. Well, that's a kicker, he can't tackle. And already with a first and ten. They see the fake to Matu, to Matu going deep. At the 20, bringing it down is Kenny Watson. Man on man coverage with Marcus Floyd, 35 yards. The play just position himself in front of Floyd. That's a great job. This is like just going out for the rebound. 
back to him. You saw that hand just go back. Look at that body just to get. What a great job of turning his body square and walling off the defender. That's an excellent job. They take it on in. Larry Johnson to cut back inside the 10, the 5, and down to the 3. Question. There's progress here. Good blocking, good lead by Felder again. He's not killing anybody, but he's getting that big body. They see with a fake make keep. Open man back in the end zone. Found him. Touchdown, John Gilmore. And when you got a Richard Casey, you get him on the slap wide open. Nice job by Richard, biding his time, waiting for the backside tight end to get across. Nice, right, easy. That, that's a list maker, Justin Kokopis. He gets up and makes a list of everything he's going to do, starting with breakfast. He actually writes that down. Over the last play of the quarter, the third and nine. Randall L unloads. Bad pass. Thrown too high and behind Jerry Dorsey, who was open. Two or three people at a time. <laughs> Casey will end the third quarter with a completion to Eddie Drummond and nobody knocked him out. Boy, another breakdown by Indiana. Should have been going to but one more loss. It announced an elimination game. And we start the fourth quarter with a run for about nine times after the second. Yeah, sit up, sir. There he is again out Casey there. Casey turns it up. Huge <laughs> collision. I mean, to watch him, man. Well, that's not real that. pretty. That's not real pretty, but he just bounces people out of the way so Richard can turn it up and do his thing. Well, look at him drop the shoulder. You got to love that. Second and ten, they pick up the blitz. And the pass is off the hand of the tight end. Yeah. Instead, Larry Johnson down to the Tough handle for a right footed kicker. It's amazing how often that happens. Is this one? It's a moot question. Can't happen this year. Randall L to Dealman. It was broken up and intercepted. On the return, it's Brian Scott inside the 20. Derek Toll's got a hand on it. Scott takes the pick back 12. Open receiver, but just a great athletic play by Tolls, like you said. It was just an out route, great jump, and then great tip drill. You work on that tip drill all the time. First down from the 19. The other defense right back out there. They were getting worn down. Little as a wide out. Now in motion. And Casey is sacked at 19. They go full wides. And Casey fires complete, but not nearly enough. Slight adjustment. Well, he adjusts, and he hits. So 9 out of 10 for the year. Levron Williams. Not a guy, though, that's running it for the right way he has tonight. Randall L. over the middle. Williams, the receiver at work now. To the 38 as he's on pace to be the top Russian quarterback in the history of college football. That eight this year. Chased by Michael Haynes, pulls up, fires complete. Gaddis, tackled by Boyd. They pick up a big third down, late pitch, Williams, corner. Nowhere to go, manages just a little bit. And back to the sprint pass. Has to settle short. Williams. Man on man. Brought down and out of bounds by Tikus Pettigrew. Out of the gun. Pump fit. Dropped by Graham, who got blasted by Penn's board. And here come flags. Wow. And Penn State can't believe it. They run this real speed. How late was it? Put yourself in James Boyd's shoes. Now you're the free safety. You think this guy has caught the like ball? Didn't get flagged then. 24 yard line. Huge break. Can Indiana take advantage? Marker down. Pitch to Williams to the 20 and just inside. Led by more than seven. Led by more than seven. Randall L. keeping all the way this time. And 
then, is that the ball or a <laughs> helmet that came helmet. loose? Mercy. <laughs> you think they're hitting out there? Boyd again. How did you get it knocked off? I mean, it's over <laughs> huge tackle to the head. Oh, it's just a good, clean tackle. That's all that is. That is a fantastic hit. Come across the bow, and you light them up. That's how you're taught to hit somebody. You drive right through them like they're not That's even right. there. You don't see that. Separating the lines and Hoosiers. Second and nine. They ask Williams to get the tough yards through the middle, and he... And they convert another 36. Movement both ways, but it was Sione Ohuwafi. Offside, defense. And Randall easily sneaking for the first. That's all ready. And he has all three of theirs. Randall cutting it right is in motion. To the end zone, Bobby Brandt can't hang on. Randall rolling left to the end zone. Almost intercepted by Pettigrew. With a 29-yarder, he's 4 out of 5 for the year, and this one is good. Indiana has it. To the open side and the right side of the field. Number 20. Lacuse split wide up top. MR easy in the backfield. Quarterback draw. Casey. For the 40 first down in the country. To come through with a solid performance. Stewart is tight end. Gets out of the Plenty of time. Casey. McCoo runs the slant for the first down. He's at Indiana. Casey with time. Again to McCoo. They split Eric McCoo out wide with good results on this drive. That's 11 more yards and another first down. McCoo showing Ryan and Ryan Kamani field goal range. They'll we'll have to set it for it though. Eddie Drummond breaking a tackle and tripped up at the 25. He broke free from Marcus. 51 yarder last week by Kamani. Stewart gets out of bounds with a first down. At the 21 with 22 seconds. He missed from second or third down. He missed from 27, hit from 39. This is from 39. But this is a good angle for a right footed kicker. And it is perfect. He didn't have to make any adjustment that time. He just knocked it through the pipe. A lot of that very well may have been the hash you wanted on. That was right down the pipes. Yep, and uh, I, I just agree with you, Mike. I think you were right on the money when you said one more play, and Randall L. has no time on the clock. Now he's got David Kimball would be advised to kick it away from Derek Graham, and he does just that. Graham's run two back for touchdowns, but he gets to it. Can't get the corner turned, and he is down at the 13-yard line. And he'll throw it from the one. Graham can't hang on. Indiana again will fall short. From the one again for Dorsey. Four white jerseys back there, and Pettigrew gets the interception, and Penn State season is still alive to make the postseason. They come from behind over and over again to knock off Indiana. And for Paterno, 321 wins and counting. Now two behind the bear. Again, our final score, Penn State, 27, Indiana, 24.